good thing you asked because I've got it in here. Hold on. Doctor prescribed the heavy stuff. Blow. There you go. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. Hide your face from the world and we're good. Get in. Get in. All right. So, where Careful, are we going? there's a little fire out the back. Ooh. You don't want to get burned. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. So, where did you get this car anyway? Oh, this ring? I won it. Racing for pink slips. Where are you taking us anyway? Ah, we're just gonna let the road take us where it may. Does this road have a destination? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Radio's for sheep, okay? Come prepared. Try that. Side A, track one, roll em. <laughs> You having a good time? It's going all right. You sure? Yeah. Ready for a real good time? Oh! What are you fucking doing? Oh, you crazy fuck! Woo! You have a fucking screw loose! No, see, I don't have screws, Desmond. I'm not a machine, and neither are you. Working out the old kidney stones. Yo, this little bad beauty's full of treasure, I guarantee it. We break in there, we're gonna have popcorn, spicy nacho cheese, a variety of gummy products, it'll be beautiful. All we gotta do is break in. Do you know how stale it would be even if we got in? Yes, I do, Desmond, but it's free. You know what I'm saying? And beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, well, the lock was really big, so. You are easily intimidated. <laughs> So, um, what are you going to do after the heist? Probably leave, go somewhere else, be someone else. What about Julie? I mean, I want her with me, of course, but... You didn't tell her? I can't ask her to leave, man. She's cut out for this place. There's no way. She loves him, man. I know. What about you? What are you gonna do with the money? Make a movie, dude. Really? Of course. Yeah. In fact, this might be the perfect place for my final shootout scene. Well, you better hurry up and knock it down. They're gonna build condos. That's the way of the world. Condos. Shame. I know what that means. Okay. Everybody down, girl, get it. Help, help! Shut up! There's no way this girl lived. Let the girl loose. Let's handle this like real men. Listen, I may have been born at night, but not last night. You don't let her go, I'm coming after you. You better dig in your spurs, cowboy. Bring it. All right, I'm coming. Freeze, motherfucker. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the gun that Francois gave you? Yeah. 
Yo, yo, just put it down. That thing's that thing's real. Keep your hands where I can see him, dirtbag. No, really, put it down. It's a real gun. Seriously, is the thing loaded? No, no, I don't think so. The safety's on, right? I think. I you think. think? Jules, put the damn gun down. <laughs> My greatest ambition was to become immortal and then die. <laughs> that was really good. All we missing was the blood packs and the sp that was good. That was pretty funny. This is so fucked up. You guys. Oh, dude, they were blanks. I got them from Francois. It's pretty nice. I can't believe you guys would do oh, that. Oh, come on, you know what? Desmond. Fuck you two. Oh, oh, fuck you. We're sorry, Desmond. You deserve it for standing up this lovely lady last night. You deserve it. More running. Okay, a little more running. More running. Shut up. More running. Dude. Okay. Listen, this is a gift from us to you. It's open. Wow. It's breathing, you know. It's half empty. Breathing. Breathing. Where are you, man? Hey, sweetie. Guess what? Parents are here. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> it's so nice of you guys to come. Congratulations, Desmond. Thank you. Congratulations. Listen, if you get a minute later, I'd love to speak to you. Yeah. Would you guys like a drink? Mm. Love one. Get a drink? That sounds great. Jacques. Jacques, this is my husband, Roger. Roger, Hi. this is Jacques. Roger, how are you? Jacques, how do you do? Doing well, thank you. So what were you guys talking about? Nothing, really. Just uh, the peace. And, uh... Sir? Who is that guy? He's a critic from the Times. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Excuse me? Oh, <laughs> you must be an art critic, huh? Yes, Arthur Chabrol. Oh, Gideon. Hi. Art. Hey, That's Desmond. What? Well, you're an art critic and your name's Art. How often does that happen? Never happen. You got a sec? Um, sure. Hey, is there some place around here we can talk? Um, we could probably go around back. Let's reload and head back there. Okay, what I'm getting at is, um, do you think your opinions are personal, or are you trying to figure out what the public would find enjoyable? Well, since I'm writing for a newspaper, mm -hmm. which is geared to the public, um, I would say I have to keep that in mind. Listen, I, uh, 
I wanted to talk to you about an opportunity. First of all, let me just say, I really like your artwork. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's just what I'm looking for. Really. As it happens, my investment company is moving into a brand new building. And we've got three whole floors. But a couple days ago, I had a meeting with some of the designers. And they're looking to purchase artwork to put in the offices and the hallways. You know, and when, and when Julie heard about this, she about knocked me over to get me down here to see your work. So, uh, anyway, I guess, I guess what I want to ask you, what do you charge for commission stuff? I mean, I don't, I don't know. It, it, it would depend on, on how big Ball it parts. was. I mean, a thousand? How long would it take you to finish 20 of them? Do you like it? Oh, it's, uh, it's lovely. Mm. I find it shockingly homoerotic, don't you? Well, I, uh... No, I disagree. I think it is auto... Erotic. <laughs> uh, there's no question. It is giving me a raging hard on. I know. I'm so wet right now. <laughs> it's a steal at a thousand. Let's buy it. Straight away. Before I cream my pants. <laughs> $20,000 will go a long way. If it's a money issue, I can give it to you up front. I mean, I know where you live, don't I? Wow, I don't, I, I don't, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> That's what, my daughter loves you. I know, and I love her. Good. As you'll be able to understand where I'm coming from, I work very hard to support my family. The day's gonna come when I gotta pass the torch. And as a parent, I have a responsibility to make sure that my daughter is in good hands. Now, I like you. I mean, I think you're a... <laughs> you're a bright kid. This, uh, this art stuff, well, it's great. And it's, and it's good to have a hobby. Now, but let's be realistic. It's not gonna put food on it. If you want to be with my daughter, you got to think bigger. Take movies, for example. I'm not a film player. I don't doubt that you aren't, but you've seen one, aren't you? You're familiar with the medium, are of you Of course, yes. Okay, have we seen Vertigo? Yes. Bang! There's a film that was just brutalized by the critics, and now, 20 years later, is lauded as one of the greatest films of its time. I'm not sure I understand where you're going with Precisely. this. Precisely. You know, all I could say, is, if I'm understanding you, is that sometimes art is ahead of its time. No, and that no, art, you're better than that. You're better than the ahead of its time excuse. Just admit that you guys dropped the ball, right? I'm not a You film dropped the critic. ball. That's something I can overlook. Hey, hey, they just put out some crab cakes. Crab cakes? Yes. Fantastic. Art, sir, this has been a pleasure. We'll continue right, it later. All right, pack yourself out. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm Julia DeWitt. Arthur Chambrol. It's nice to meet you. Nice Are too. you having a good time, aside from the episode with my mentally unbalanced friend? <laughs> yes, thank you. Good. Well, is, there, is there anything I can get for you? Uh, actually, I would like to meet the artist. Do you think I could be introduced? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I will go get him. Stay right here. What if I said, I'll put you on the payroll, and your job is to paint? You don't even have to come into the office. You just work at your own pace. Huh? And then a couple of months down the road, when we've moved into the new building, you can come in and you can go to work for me. For real. Investments. I mean, you must be good with numbers. Pay you a nice salary. We'll make that 20K a, a little signing bonus. Trust me, Desmond. It's got to beat the hell out of a jockey and a calculator and some bank. How does that sound? Oh, 
there you are. Desmond, Mr. Chabot wants to meet you. Guess I gotta go. Mr. Chabral, this is Desmond Silver. All right, I will uh, leave you two alone. So, Desmond, Robert's spoken very highly of you. Thank you. I really like your work. You obviously have a lot of passion inside you. Have you ever exhibited in the city? Not really. Um, I've done a couple coffee house type showings. Well, I have a friend who has a gallery downtown, and I think she'd really like to see your work. Okay. In fact, I'm having dinner with her tomorrow night. Do you have a portfolio I could show her? Uh, yeah. Good. Then why don't you meet us for dinner tomorrow night? Take a train into the city, and I'll introduce you to Mary. I think she's really gonna like you. We could have a nice opening there. Sell these pieces for three times the price. And you know, when I'm reviewing, I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna take this one right there, because I like it. Okay. Call me tomorrow for the details, and bring your girlfriend. I think we'll have a lot of fun. Okay. This is, so nice. this is how I pictured this it? This is the suit. It's kind of like Blues Brothers. Well, it's Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs. I was thinking more Belushi. Reservoir Acro. Dogs. Leave it at that. It is Reservoir I just, Dogs. I, I think it, Dude, I'm feeling... Dude, I bought it. Because of the Reservoir Dogs, and it's Reservoir Dogs. If that's what you want to say, man. It's, okay, you know, we're not going to talk. We're done. All right, right. We're done with that. Good enough. Man. Good. What is going on, Desmond? Ha, <laughs> life. Dude, life. I hear that, man. Hey, how fucking hard is Francois Bro? Dude, yeah, have you got it? Guys, guys, I got to do it. I would take that. I could listen. Issues. I could take it in the car. Do Your car. Do you, you guys, I can't, cool? I can't go through well, to the robbery. Again, what? Okay. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? I just can't do it. I'm out. Well, that's ridiculous. That's... No, no, you guys have the keys. You don't, you don't need me. You're inside, man. The fuck we don't need yeah, you, Yeah, dude, you're the inside man. Without you, there is no plan. There is. There is a plan. You've got all the inside info. You've got the keys. I just can't be a part well, of it. This is fucked, man. No, 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 no. Nothing is fucked. Nothing is fucked. Desmond, what's going on? Listen, I got a meeting in the city in New York with an art critic that, that they want to set up a show for me. It's just what I always wanted. I don't, I don't want to jeopardize what I got going on. Oh, what you got going on? What, what about what I've got going on, okay? Shit, Desmond. I mean, I'm really excited for you. I really am with all this stuff that you got going on, but where the fuck does that leave me? Fucking us, us, man. Us. You guys. No, listen, okay? I've got nothing, all right? Nothing. I've got dreams too, Desmond. Did you ever think about that? I know. No, no. Do I know you, you know that? I, I do. No, no. I don't think you do understand that because this, this is my fucking ticket out of this shithole. And you are fucking it up. I'm not fucking it up. I'm not. Listen, you guys can do this without me. You don't need me. Look, if you're not with us, you're fucking liability, man. Hey, hey, come on. You know I wouldn't interfere. I don't know nothing. Gideon. Come on, Gideon. Let's go. Fuck this white man. You are fucking this all up. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm just getting some fresh air. What was that all about? It's getting being selfish. Or maybe I'm being selfish. What's wrong? You. You are so beautiful. <laughs> you know what? Let's get out of here. But what about the party? You have all those people in there to see you. I don't care. I don't care. Let's go. Okay. So he wants me to get on a train tomorrow and go meet her. He thinks that she'll give me a show in the city. That is so wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's okay, it's cool. Come on, that's fantastic. That's so fantastic. Even Desmond Glasses Half Empty Silver cannot find a downside here.
Are you with me? Of course. What's that supposed to mean? No. Do you support me? And in what I want to do? Of course, Desmond. That's a stupid question. No, it's not. It's not a stupid question. It's important to me. Where is this coming from? Your dad made me an offer tonight. He wants to pay me $20,000 to do some paintings for him, and then he wants me to come work for him. Well, that's great. No. No. No, it's not. Jules, it's not great. It's terrible. Oh, come on, Desmond. $20,000? That's a lot of money. Yes, it is. And you're always complaining about how much you hate your job. Yes, I do. Don't you see? Working for your dad is the same thing. I don't want to do any of it. Look, this is your father's way of ensuring that you're getting taken care of. The thing is, I don't think that you need to be taken care of. You're smarter than me. You're more ambitious than I am. Whether we're together or not, you're going to be successful in life. This much I know for sure, okay? I just don't know what the future holds for me. I don't know if I'm going to be a success. I don't... I just know that's all I want. I don't know if I'm ever going to be rich. I don't care about that stuff. Think about what you're saying. Think about it. It's easy to shrug off the notion of a fortune when your pockets are full. You go to an Ivy League school, you drive a BMW, for Christ's sake. What does that have to do with anything? It's not in the cards for me, Jules. Desmond, I love you for who you are. Not for some prospect of some fortune in the future. I, I love that you're an artist. I mean, you know how talented I think you are. I think your work is so beautiful. I just don't understand what's so horrible and terrible about my father's offer. I mean, I know that working in an office is not what you want to do, but just for a little while. I mean, just until you make enough money off your art. And judging by the way things went tonight, that might not be very long. Jules, if you honestly don't understand why I can't accept this offer... What? Maybe... Maybe we're not right for each other. Are you breaking up with me? No. No, no. It's just that sometimes I feel like we're in two different worlds. Your future is... is great. I, I just sometimes feel like I'm dragging you down. How could you say that? Because I'm never going to measure up to what your parents want for you. Jules, you are the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. But maybe I'm not the greatest thing for you. What am I... <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I can't put words in your mouth. All I know is that I'm gonna get on that train tomorrow and I'm gonna head to my dream. I'll be saving a seat for you. I know the street glasses take and in the street so. they call football football and soccer soccer. 
get it right. When were you in the streets? Man, I'm from the streets. What the fuck is this? What, man? What the fuck is with your suit, Superfly? You planning on tricking out some bitches tonight? I think it's kind of tight, man. Yeah, it's tight. I specifically said Reservoir Dogs, and you Wait, know that. No, no, you said black exploitation. No. That was like two weeks ago. I'm, well, I the gave you the rewrites. No, the blue pages hey, hey, you know rewrites. What? It, does, it doesn't matter, man. You know what? Besides, it's the only suit down at Goodwill that fit. Great. Boys, want anything? Yes. I would like two tequilas. I think it'll help settle the nerves. And make them double, sir. So how you doing? How you feeling about all this? I'm getting nervous like, man. It's so change of plans has me thrown off a bit. No. Fuck that, what's the difference, right? Why do we have to do it Wednesday? Think about it, man. Six hours from now, you and I are gonna be on a flight to jolly old England. It's just not that, man. It's, uh, it's this whole thing with Desmond. Oh. I mean, what, what if he sells us out? No, no, he is a son of a bitch, I give you that, but he's not a son of a bitch that would sell out a friend. I'll be eight bucks. Steve, thank you, sir. I am dry. You're fucking cheap, man. I'm not. Oh, Come really? On, man. You know how much this suit costs? Looks like a expensive suit, doesn't it, Steve? There you go. It is. You keep the change, yeah? Okay. Don't be fooled. You know what the other thing is? What's that? Desmond, as far as that kid's concerned, this isn't happening for another two days. You know what I'm talking about? He's out of the picture. You know, he was right. We don't need him. We got the keys. One of us is dressed right, okay? We know what we're doing. We're a well-oiled machine, Rupert. The only thing that's changed is the size of the piece of the pie, right? Half. Here we go. That's, that's true. Hey, uh, cheers, yeah? Here we go. Go down easy. Easy. Thank you, and have a great day. Thank you. All right. Okay, give me my ski mask. Please tell me you have the ski mask. Man, tell me where the fuck I'm gonna find ski mask in the middle of summer, man. You are useless. Do you know that? You are fucking useless. Great, what do we do now? Well, um, I got these. Wow, these are really sexy. What the fuck am I gonna do with pantyhose? I'm saying it's the same thing, man. You just, you put these over our heads, right? We walk in, we walk out, same as a ski mask. You're right. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's the exact same. Except instead of looking cool, we look like fucking pansies. Fuck you what, man? I hate you. You're in a good mood. Yeah, I, I am. You have fun plans after work or something? Catching the train. Oh, where are you going? Going into New York. Are you finished with your count, Desmond? I'm done. How about you, Ashley? Almost. Hands in there, nobody! Hands in the air! This is not a fucking drill! Step back. Hands in the air! Fucking hands up! Step back, two feet! Sweetheart, step back, step back. I said fucking step back. I want you shoulder to shoulder, I want shoulders touching. Nobody fucking move. I said nobody fucking move! Stay up in there! Everybody go shoulder to shoulder. Don't look at me, close your eyes, man! Close your eyes! Oh, dick man, fucking gun, Now we're gonna go single file right out this fucking door. Move, move. 
I don't think you understand. When I say it, you do it. On the ground. Get this fuck. It's fucking funny. Get on the ground. I've got a problem here, man. Asses and hands on the ground. Those are the rules. Keep your fucking asses and hands on the ground. It's a safe book. Can't get it unbuckled, man. It's not a goddamn bra. I know the fucking. I can't do it. You take it. Take it out. Easy, easy, man. Easy. Take it. Hurry the fuck up. Come on, man. Move the fuck on. Hands. Get the fuck over here, man. Hands in the air. Keep it moved. Come on. Come on, man. How do we do? How do we do? Good. All asses and all hands stay on the ground at all times. Look down. At all fucking times. Mr. Blue here has been trained to kill any and all heroes, so let's avoid that Keep your at all costs. Head down. Now I'm gonna need a fucking helper. I'm the bank man. Sit the fuck Sit down! Sit the fuck down, Mrs. Derrick. This isn't happening for you today. Okay. Okay. You. Get up. Fuck up, man. You can complain? Get the fuck up now. Head down. Now where's the safe? Where is the fucking vault? It's in the back. Great. Are we going to the back? Anything Mr. Blue says here is fucking law. You move, you die. Die! To the vault. Let's go. Fucking die. Put your fucking head. Don't fucking look anywhere. Go. Get your head down. Everybody stay the fuck down! Load the money in the bag. Why? Why, Ian? Why the fuck do you care, Desmond? You're not involved! Not the orange ones. Shut the fuck up, Desmond! The orange ones have dye packs in them. Got the loot. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Let's go, man. Let's go out the back right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go, dude. You can either stay here and explain to the cops or come with us. Let's go. Shit. The bags. Where the fuck's the other bag? You left it in the back. Oh, shit. Come man. on now. Fuck, man. Let's get the fuck out of it, man. Sick. Hurry the fuck on. Let's get the fuck out of it, man. Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Shit! Shit. We're not gonna get out of here. Yes, we are. Let's just go out the back now. Let's no. go. Let's go. Come on, let's no, go. No, what do you What do you mean no? no? Run. no it's Come on. Fault. It's my fault. I, I did this. You guys go. No, you guys just go. What are you doing? One. What are you doing? Three. Come on. One get in. Come on, man. One better than three. I love you. Addict up. Fuck. Addict up. Come on. Let's get out of here.
You have 10 minutes. Thanks, Frank. Hey, Jules. Hey, hey Gideon. So, how you holding up? I was just about to ask you that. Oh, me? I'm excelente. <laughs> Some guys teaching me Spanish. Really? <laughs> In exchange for what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Seriously, um, how you doing? I'm okay. You know, <laughs> good days, bad days. Strikes and gutters, right? Um, I brought you a present. Wow. Desmond was always saying what a, a movie freak you were. I just thought that, you know. Great minds think alike, right? Yeah. Not really, Jules. Thanks a lot. 
It's fantastic. working on something and uh, they, they said I was gonna have a visitor and I thought it was gonna be my brother so I'm just gonna give it to him but maybe it's better if you have it what is this it's... maybe you should just read it I think it'll explain a lot I didn't even spell rave wrong. 